Uh, I don't think it's on fire, but. Woo! Yeah, you definitely don't want to do that. Shock myself. Before I go ahead and paint this frame, I'm just gonna do a once over inside the vise here. I'm just using some 320 grit sandpaper to get off any little flaws that I have missed. And uh, so far, pretty good. Doesn't seem too bad. All right, I got it down to pretty much bare metal as best I'm gonna get it with some sandpaper. Now I'm just gonna bring in these uh, weld marks back into here because the sandpaper will sand them down a little bit. So the only way I found that kind of where I could just bring a blowtorch back to it and heating up the joints and it'll uh, hopefully give me that uh, effect that looks like it just been welded. <laughs> So far, so good. I might have went a little too much. I wish it was a little bit closer to the welds, but I'll live with it. It'll be all right. So I'll, uh, I'll finish getting this all prepped up like that, and then I'll uh, check back in. Also, I got one little mod for this box, just to help see how hot it actually gets inside the back of the box. I got this turkey thermometer thing. Uh, I'm just gonna drill a hole somewhere in the back here and just slide it in. And uh, hopefully it'll kind of give me an idea of how hot the back of this box is once it's on the oven over there. <laughs> Alright, I think that's as good as that's going to get. Alright, so I got my oven set to 425. It's only been like five minutes. With this crazy contraption we got going on here. <clears throat> and we're currently at almost 150 so i'll give it like another 10 minutes and see where we're at so that's the far back of this box which is what i'm scared of but um when i did have the frame in here the other day when i was just kind of testing it uh the frame i left in there and i did preheat it to 400 and uh i don't know if the back got totally there but i'll tell you that frame was really hot and it was hard to touch, it was so hot. So I mean, if your frame is over here and the other half's over here, when this is all heats up, I think the metal is gonna, it's gonna, the heat's gonna, you know, climb up the metal all the way to the back. It was hot enough to burn my fingers, so I'm assuming it's hot enough to melt the powder. And uh, as a small test, I didn't show this, but I did this the other, 
the other day just while I had it in the oven. I sprinkled some powder right on the back drop ends over here, which is the back part of the oven over there, and it did melt to the back. I just sprinkled it on, and it did... Uh, I had to use a wire wheel to take it off, one of these guys, so I know it did cook on there, so... I'm still keeping my hopes high. I think it's I think it's gonna work. Whether it cooks at 400, it's gonna cook at something. Checking back in over here, we're at almost 250. Almost at 250. Again, that's the very, that's up against here. So it's probably, you know, it's gonna be hottest over here and slowly not as hot as over here. 250. Also, I don't know if this is the way you want to really use this type of thermometer. You're supposed to stick it inside the turkey. This is kind of like an air box, so I don't really know if that's the way you really want to do this. So I don't know. Either way, whatever this gets up to, 250, 300, 350, 400. Uh, I'm going to try this regardless. All right, this is a trans raspberry. And this is a... 10 minutes at 400 degrees. We're gonna do 20 minutes at whatever degrees we can get it up to. Prismatic powders. All right, I'm just gonna scoop this in here. I don't have a tripod, so uh, be back in a sec. Guys, I promise you this is not pink or hot pink. Uh, it looks pink, but it's not pink, I promise. All right, so I'm gonna do the bars first. And to be honest with you, I'm not worried about the knurling here. That's where the stem goes. I'm not worried about this much of the bar going down. That being said, I'm not hanging it on my ladder. I'm gonna just fully send it in my hand and coat it and then stick it in the oven. Um, this is personal use, this is for me only. I wouldn't do this on anyone else's product. This is just strictly for me. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna ground it out to the end of the bar and hold it and uh, paint the other side. So I can't hold the bars and hold the switch at the same time. So, uh, the old electrical, the electrical tape will take care of that. I really am just making this hotter for myself. Guys, it looks like it's that easy. That's it. Two seconds. I'm telling you, this isn't pink, I promise you. And let's see what my uh, temp is up to. All right, we're almost at 400, honestly. It's good. I wouldn't lie to you. I might. All right, let me get this in the oven. All right, let me get this box back on. Got my grips. All right, got the box on. We set a timer here. It says 10 minutes, so 10 minutes it is. 10 minutes. And just from taking that box off and on, literally for not even a minute, it dropped down to uh, 250 on this side. There's only a little bit of the bars poking out past here, so uh, we'll be all right. Got one minute left in the oven. It's at 400 degrees. There, my thermometer is reading 350. So somewhere between 350 and 400 this oven is. Uh, I could maybe turn up the oven to higher, maybe 425, 450. 
Uh, I really don't know. It'll take some time to figure it out. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna pull this cover off in about 36 seconds. If this seems to start working pretty good, maybe we'll try to put in a window in this box maybe, because that's like the only downfall right now. You have to like kind of look under there and you can't even see. Kind of a pain in the butt. But uh, yeah, we're looking at 10 seconds here. The suspense is killing me. All right. We're done. No peeking. All right, now we can peek. Sheesh. Look at that. We are baked. Cool. All right, let me get this out. And I'll put this box back on to keep it warm because I am doing the frame next. Sheesh. They're shut up over there. All right, this thing is still scorching hot. Solid 350 on this side, maybe 400 on that side. It's 375 in the middle somewhere. Oh, yeah, it's hot. We'll let this cool off, then we'll uh, really dig into it. But, uh, guys, it's looking pretty promising here. All right, that oven's baking over there. I'm going to get this frame going. We set the oven to 420. You're real, we get recording? Oh, bet. All right, where do I want to start in this thing? I feel like I want to do like the hard parts first. So, where we'll do the hard parts first. Yeah, you definitely don't want to do that. Shocked myself. Ugh. Sheesh. That thing will get you. Do I have to get too close to the little spark thing? But I mean, I gotta get in there, so I don't really know. All right, I think I got like the hard parts. Just a little coating. I'm gonna take off this uh, diffuser part now and uh, see if we can get this whole thing coated. All 
I tell you, besides that mishap, I'm a professional over there. That's why having this thing taped down is sometimes good because you have to kind of walk with it. All right, guys. I think that's going to do it. It looks pretty covered. Got to be happy with that. Reading the stuff up my nose. That's it guys, let's get it in the oven. I'm gonna do this off camera so I don't look like an idiot in case I mess this up. But yeah, hits in there. I didn't hit nothing, I think it's good. Got it set for a cool 420 degrees for 15 minutes. I'll go check out the, the handlebars. Screwdriver. So there is a sharp, it's like uh, peened over on the screwdriver here. So it is scratching, but you gotta actually try to scratch it. I'm wondering if it's cuts like really thin right here. But with a fingernail, no, nah, this isn't gonna this isn't gonna scratch like normal spray paint. Guys, this is 10 minutes right out of the oven. This is quick. For bike parts, this is uh this is perfectly fine. Cause we just we BMX, these bikes get tossed around and get scratched up and whatnot. Uh, I'm gonna say this is 100 percent I'm satisfied. This is perfectly fine with me. Minimal prep, just sanding it down, wire wheel, wipe it off with a rag, some scotch bright. I didn't even put gloves on. And uh, I did hold the other side of the ball. So you've seen that. So I mean I don't I don't know. I think you have some leeway when you're doing this. This isn't professional, but for what I'm just doing here in the shop, this is completely fine. This is actually gonna be better than using spray paint. So uh yeah. If you're any questions about that, I mean, I watched a couple of videos and they do, they, they go all over it, prepping it, scotch brighting it, throwing some acetone on it. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to do as least amount of prep work as possible just to see how much you really have to do for this stuff to fail. And like, this is, this is on there. Good. That frame that I just put in there, all I did was sand it and then scotch brighten it and hit with that blowtorch. That was it. I didn't wipe it down with no, barely any rags and no acetone. No brake cleaner, no solvents. On it. it practically just put put it in there dusty. Um, for me, yeah, obviously I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna take some shortcuts here and there. But for someone else's stuff, I would never I would never do that. I would go above and beyond. But I got no patience. So uh, I guess I gotta clean this mess up. It's looking pretty vibrant over here. Five more minutes left. I turned it down to 400. Uh, we got some smoke coming out of here. Uh, I don't think it's on fire, but we'll hold out. We'll wait the five more minutes. Moment of truth. All right.
right, guys, I'm not gonna pretend it's perfect, but I think it's perfect. Gotta realize this is transparent purple, so you're not you're gonna see through it. That's how this frame came right off the shelf back in 2006. Not out of this particular oven setup, but guys, we did it. We did it. It worked. It worked. All right, guys, that, that's it. Thanks for watching, and I uh, hope you like this one. Time to clean up.